Hi, my name is Keith McLite. Uh, I've been an applications engineer at Cypress Semiconductor for about four years now, working with PSOC 3, 4, and 5 devices. I'm here today to show you um, how to get started with your new PSOC 5 LP board and with Creator. This is the 050 board. This has been designed for analog projects, so it's a um, very well designed board. And then you'll want to have a Creator installed. And once you have a Creator installed, we'll go ahead and open that. So this is PSOC Creator 3.1. And so when you get to Creator, you'll have this, um, this start page here. You have all your latest Cypress news here, and then you got all your latest projects over here. Uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and start a brand new project. So we'll go File, New Project. We're working with PSOC 5 LP, so we're going to select that as our device. I'm just going to throw this project on the desktop so I can find it later. We're going to blink an LED with firmware, so we'll say uh, blinky LED firmware. Go ahead and hit OK. And now this is the first screen you'll get to when you open it up a new project. Uh, you just get this blank schematic, it's a totally blank slate, you can do whatever you want now with the part. To keep in mind with, for PSOC devices, is that everything's within the part, so you're going to be placing all of your hardware onto the schematic, and Creator's going to configure that for you. Uh, a few things just to point out about Creator. On the left side here, we have the Workspace Explorer, so this will have all of your source files, your system resources, and your schematic. Um, the center, here's your schematic, this is where we'll place our hardware. Uh, on the bottom here, we have our output, so that's our build log. Um, on the right over here, we have our component catalog, and this is really where the biggest power of Creator is. This is where you're going to have all of your PWMs, your op amps, your ADCs, everything will come from over here in this component catalog. For this first project, we're just going to blink an LED, so what do we need? We need a pin. So I can go over here, uh, I can just search for pin, and Creator will show me all of the related components to the pin. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need a digital output, so I'm going to click and drag a pin onto the schematic. And I'm just going to zoom in on this here so we can see it a little better. So now we have our first component, and it's a pin. With any component in Creator, you can double click on it to open up the component configuration tool. It's a GUI that'll help you select whatever you want that component to do. It'll generate the code for you. For this one, since we're doing firmware, I'm going to unselect the hardware connection. We already have a digital output because that's what we grabbed. Uh, and then I'm going to leave it in strong drive mode uh, because we're going to be driving an LED. But if you wanted uh, various other uh, pin configurations, such as resist a pull-up, this is where you would choose that. The other thing about Creator Components is they all have an instance name. And that instance name is how you're going to refer to them in your code, so that when you generate code, all the associated APIs are going to have that name. So I'm just going to call this one LED. I'm going to apply this. And another thing that's really cool about Creator is all of these components have data sheets. And there's a variety of ways to get to them. Uh, in every single configuration tool, on the bottom left here, we have a data sheet button. You click that and it gives you the pins component data sheet. And this is going to give you everything you want to know about the pins. These are all your uh, input and output connections, your component parameters, so this is what's in that configuration tool. Uh, you can also go down to the API, the application programming interface. This is everything that Creator is going to give you once we build or generate this project. We'll go back to our project. So now we've got, uh, got this LED. So we can save everything and we're going to generate the project. We're going to generate the application. So you can go to Build, Generate Application. And what this is going to do is it's going to take all of our settings in the schematic, and it's going to create generated source files, which we can then use to write our firmware. So if you see over here on the left, now that we've generated, we have all of these generated source files. And we see that we have a folder for LED, which is the component we placed. I'm going to go ahead and open up main.c here. Your application code is going to go inside this for loop. When we start typing here, we see LED, and this is uh, generated based off of the component that we have. So I'm going to say write, uh, which is just writing a value out to this LED. I'm going to say write 1, and then we want this to blink at some rate that we can see. So I'm going to have, have the CPU delay for some amount of time. And then, so Creator also comes with a, a couple utility functions, and one of those functions is CY delay. Uh, so this delays, and you can see here our IntelliSense is giving us what this function is. So we can pass it a value in milliseconds. So I'm going to pass it, say, 500 milliseconds to wait for half a second. And then once again, we'll say LED right 0. Let's turn that thing back off. And we'll delay another half a second. So now we've got our firmware written. Creator actually will check for errors real time. Um, so like, say, if I had a delay in there, so it would give me a warning saying, yeah, I don't know what that is. IntelliSense 
only knows about your components once you generated, so that's why I did build generate first. So anytime you change something on the schematic and you hit build, it'll regenerate your source files. So now we built, build succeeded. We get a report of our flash and SRAM used. And then we have to assign this component to a specific pin. Uh, we're going to be blinking an LED. So on this board uh, here, you can see that we have LEDs on P63 and P62. So I'm going to choose P62. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can drop down the menu, and you have a whole list of all of your pins. Uh, or I can just type in P62, and that will assign it there. So now when I build, before I had it on P00 because it just shows that for me. But now it will actually uh, connect this pin physically to the physical pin that I want it to. So we've regenerated the files. We program our board by hitting this program button here. Uh, so now that we've programmed, we can see that we have our LED blinking at a rate of 1 hertz uh, with a 50% duty cycle. And there we go. Now we've completed our first PSOC 5LP project, um, and we're off and running.